Hey guys, welcome to Wikipedia. This is my tutorial series where I'm gonna take you through how to build in the game Planet Coaster. Today we're gonna build a few different roofs in the first of our tutorial. We're gonna build a generic roof, a fantasy roof and a viking roof. So I hope you are gonna sit back and uh, let me take you through this tutorial of mine. Welcome to my new tutorial series, Wikipedia. The name is made in the Discord, which you can join. Links are down below. Go and make uh, some custom roofs. I I've tr I want to try make different roofs for you guys. Maybe just two or three ones, uh, and then you guys can sort of see uh, how they look and how. Because I'm not gonna detail or anything like a lot. Uh, so what you guys are gonna see me build today are just a quick, some quick uh, square houses with some um, with some roofs on, and the roofs are something we're gonna go further on and do in just a sec. I just need to get some wood here, so we can build a little quick thing here, right? So what I would like to build here now before we continue is we need to have a roof here. But before we can do that, we need to put some of these guys as trim pieces around this building. I have no idea how this building is going to turn out to look. So we'll just uh, wing it, guys. But there is these pieces, as you guys know. We got the brackets. The brackets are probably the best pieces you can use to make your own custom roof. So here they are. I usually use the two smallest one here one or uh, five or four and then we got these which are a little bit a uh, little bit too crazy but I've seen people use them I haven't myself but yeah uh, you can also use this guy if you want like uh, some more thicker tiles everything is quite doable to be honest but let's just do this for now and then we'll take this guy so remember this like when you do these custom rules that it it can go up and get to a lot of pieces right so you have to you have to be very, very careful of your use with those. If you are building on a on a computer that don't that can't take so much and stuff, and you also have to remember that these brackets kind of disappear, like zoom out and stuff. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna try build here. So you guys sort of can see what this is all about. So what I'm doing, I actually usually just take two brackets of course let's just give it another color let's just give it like a let's just give it this color for now so we can sort of see the roof so what i'm doing here is that i usually take these guys and then i top one on top here with it so it kind of has this little bit of an overhang so it kind of looks like a tile you can see that like this right and then i can literally duplicate all these and just do it all the way up there until I kind of feel like I'm satisfied. So we can do this again. You just keep on doing it until, as I said, you feel like you have what you need. And it doesn't have to be super precise, you know, but this is uh, one of the easiest way to do it. So there's a lot of people that usually take and do the whole roof. I usually just take one of these and make a row of it. And then we can maybe even, you know, add one more extra here. There we go. So you can see now you can see there is some sort of tiles up here, but you but they still look somewhat similar, right? So I think the thing is that we need to then add one more again here. So it looks somewhat like this, right? Boom. And then afterwards, you take this and then you can of course turn him around to see if he will actually fit for the build. So if we pull this guy out here and do the same here, like that, you'll see we'll have this, we sort of have this roof already. So we're gonna delete these guys and then we'll take this guy here. So now we got what we need. So now we can even make an overhang with this guy. If you wanna go straight, I don't know why it, is that, it does that. That is very weird. 
So we do this. And see, I know right now it looks completely weird because they have the same textures. It looks like just, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So we'll build this guy here. As you can see, I'm literally just duplicating him all the way over here. Now we're building with grid, guys, because I feel like that's the easiest way for you guys to uh, to kind of get get what I'm saying here. So this is what we do, right? So we got this guy, and we add him to here as well. Something like this, right? So as you can see here now. So you can see here, now we sort of have, have this roof here, right? So we can sort of do the same here. So we take this guy, we move him around, and then we put him inside of the roof here, like that. As you can see, and then we literally just duplicate him as well. So as you can see here, so what I've done here now is that I've done this. So you can see now we sort of, I mean, it's not the prettiest, we can totally agree with that guys, but now it's, it's literally just to put an example to you guys. So we have this now, as you can see, the roof is, is, is starting to look of something. But as you can see, it has the same textures. So what we're going to do now is we are just randomly picking up a few tiles here. As I said, the brackets really work best as tiles, especially if you, if you do it right. So what we do now is that we just mark a few. And then we can color this to another dark color, maybe. So it still fits, fits here, you know. But we just make it a little bit darker, like that. And then what we do here now is that we can move it out of the whole grid here we have. So they kind of looks like this. You see this now? Now it actually looks like they are placed on top of this. And literally, that's literally what you do. You just keep on doing that until you feel like you found a point of the roof where you're like, okay, this looks like a roof now. And then it's all up to you, to be honest, to figure out what kind of method you want to do here. So like, we can make this guy even darker or maybe lighter. Like this. See, and then we put this guy inside here. So you can see now, now we sort of have some textures. We have a different, we have a different vibe going on on the roof here. Maybe it wasn't the most uh, amazing color I decided to pick here, but that's that's not the big uh, that's not the big thing here. What we are doing now is that we are trying to mark as many brackets as we can, so we can get this sort of vibe with the tiles looking like they are actually placed on the roof. So this is very important, guys, because if you don't do that, you'll get these textures here, and then you can see that it's a custom roof. You see, so here's a big difference already. So it's very important that you go in and you change a lot of the tiles and, does, and, and just don't have it standing alone like that because it's just not pretty. It's just not pretty. So it's literally just doing the same here, guys, with the tiles. So here. So now you can see, now we sort of have some tiles. Sort of have something that looks like a roof. And then we just need to do it all the way around all the other roofs as well. But as you can see here, we sort of have some sort of a roof here. So what you can do now to give it that more exclusive look is that now you can trim the roof so it actually looks quite nicer. So what you can do now is that let's take this, uh, this wooden pillar here. So I'm gonna try build everything with just the in-game pieces guys and not with uh, DLCs or anything. Well, we'll see how far we can go with this at least. So we give the roof a trim piece here. This also works uh, just if you use normal roofs as well. Um, but it literally just do so much. As you can see here, put it down. Put it down! And then we do this. Because we kind of want it to be exactly. So we do something like this, right? Boom. We turn it around. And we do the same here. So we sort of have this. And we turn this guy around as well. And we take this guy. Maybe we can put him like here in the middle. 
can turn him around so he goes this. See, it's very like how how you design your roof is completely up to you, to be honest. You can add some more stuff up here as well. Guys, this tutorial only shows you how you make roofs. Like I am not the like because it's all it's all on your creativity. Like you can make whatever roof you want. It's just how you're gonna do it. Because there are plenty of options in this game. So you do the same here, you add this guy on the top. So he gets like this, as you can see here. And then we can do the same over here. So we're just gonna try to make this sort of a nice little build here, right? Nothing too fancy, nothing too schmancy. So it's very important that you sort of have an idea and a goal on what you want to do. So now we sort of have a house with a custom roof. So now it's just all up to you how you want to detail this. So I'm just going to do that real quick, guys. Okay, see you in a bit. And don't mind the, these guys here that pokes out because you can always hide those away with the planks if you want to, or you can just have them hanging like that. It's, it's literally completely your call again. We could detail the building by doing this. Putting this guy in the front here. So it, it kind of just have, have the vibe, you know. You put this guy on and you move him over here as well. You do the same like this. Like now, it, now it looks more like a, f a fantasy cottage or something because we put this decorating on, but it's fine. So now we got those two guys, those three there, and then I thought about I it could use like some some trim pieces and stuff. So we can use this guy here. Where is he? Yes. So we put this guy up here as well. So we get sort of sort of this. And then it is literally just to put it on the roof as well. So we do something like this. So as you can see, it goes straight into the deco piece there. Ugh. Come on. There you go. Look! Look how much that changes the roof already, right? It's uh, it's quite crazy how you can do things in this game and actually make it look nice if you just detail it properly. Um, so this guy here is that we can add an extra thing here, so it goes up, so it gives us this overhang over the. Only thing we need to do now here, of course, is to ch change these, so we get them down here which is very important as you can see it goes all the way down there gives this super nice overhang and what we can do now is that we can take all this and add it on all the others shouldn't be a problem so we do this and it needs to be a little bit below there we go I mean, some people also build them so they're actually not lying in this sort of alignment, I guess you can say. But for me, that just takes too much time to do. I'd rather just want to do this and then just have like free roam tiles or how we can say so. I'm not like an expert on like the like like architecture stuff, like, um, but I know how to build. And sometimes I really like building these uh, whimsical cottages, etc. Which I'm probably also gonna make a little tutorial about how to make like a curvy, sort of curvy roof. That'll be quite entertaining. But I mean, this is sort of how you do a 
custom roof, guys. And the last thing we need, we have these spooky bits here, right? So maybe we can add these guys here. So it actually has a trim piece here. What if it looks good? I do not know. That's the only thing you can find out is that doing all this. It's actually not bad. So you can do this, put this guy there. And put this guy there. And then you can even, if you feel like it, you can go back and use some of the brackets for what they're actually used for. In supports. You can even put this guy in the back here or in the bottom here. Put him like this. So far, this is like one of the this is like one of the easy moves where it's literally just going up on the yeah, meeting them up in the top here and uh, just de detailing it with some stuff on the top of the roof. Nothing too fancy, but that's literally like that's mainly how things goes here. So that was the first building. Let's move on to uh, the next sort of style that I would like to build or teach you guys. All right, guys, second build we're gonna start up on now. Uh, what's very, sometimes it's actually quite nice to start with the roof. So we're gonna try do more of a, a fantasy sort of style roof that are a little bit curved and stuff like that. Because um, they can be very tricky and tedious to build those sort of roofs. Um, but as again, it's literally the same procedure as before. Like you, uh, you take one of these brackets, you figure out a way, like kind of like how do you want the roof? So do we want like a, a small, more of a oval roof sort of thing? So we can always just try start by doing this, and then we can slowly just take one each of these up, or maybe we should actually give it two times that would probably be the best thing to do so let's do this we got two there and then afterwards see it's very difficult sometimes to build out like if you don't have a roof or like a building to do it on but sometimes it just gives you a, a better overview when you do it like this. I've done this a million times before where I actually build the roof first. Um, yeah. So as you can see here, we get this sort of more... Well, as you can already see now, the shape is changing a lot as for as soon as we change up the whole structure of, uh, of the brackets, like the angles, as you can see here, it gives this sort of more of a, well, kind of elvish sort of style right so and then we can do this so it goes all the way up there and we take one more boom so this should this should give us some sort of a nice roof or at least uh, shape wise so we can do this too and then we have this so you can see it's not like the roof is it itself is it's pretty small but what you can do is that you can always just do more, add more and more to it if you feel like uh, it's not really there yet. As you can see here, added this guy so it gets a little bit longer, the roof. And we can even do the same up here. So now it goes so we can even move it this way again. So it kind of like does this. Sort of thing up here, so we do this. Can you see how the shaping of the roof just changes all of a sudden because we do this? See, it has this sort of super nice curve to it now. So you just keep on doing that until you you feel like you got it. So we do this too. Boom. I do feel like that the roof itself is a little bit too round up here. So if we can do this instead and then do this. See, it's trial and error, guys, all the time, trial and errors. We kind of just want it to be a little bit more thicker, though. 
something like this and then we can slowly just take one of each here and add on i know there is like this game has been out for four years and i know there's so many different ways to do custom roofs but i'm gonna i'm showing you guys my methods i've been using for the last well almost feel like decades um So, be patient, as you can see. So we got sort of a nice roof there now. So now we can do the same again. So what the whole thing you always have to remember is that you only need to make one row at a time. And then as soon as you got that row, you know, you like, you can just start duplicating it and mirror it. So you kind of get this sort of roof. So what we can do now to make it even cooler is that you can take this partially of the roof which I, is something I'm also done. And then to get it that like curvy sort of thing, you can sort of just lower it down just a tiny bit here. Just a tiny bit. So you can see it has this sort of crookedness. Maybe a little bit more like that. So there you go. There you have like, then you can see now the roof is sort of tilting a bit. And you can, s all, you can honestly just do the same on this side here as well. And then you have like a mid part there that is just completely centered. So you do the same here, kind of like the roof has has fallen down, you know, like it's it's falling down through the years because it's a cottage. So we do this, right? So next up is that's that's the that's the fun part. What's up next? I'm just gonna do these things real quick, guys. All right, guys. Now we sort of have like the building sort of fixed for now. So now we need to add all the detailing as we did on the previous build as well. So we are going to try, see if it's doable to add this guy on here. Usually it usually works like this. It's not always because we are having it. So like it's a very different angle for the game because we don't really have the pieces. So you have to like precisely place these these trim pieces. See here, it, it won't work because me. Eh, the roof is not a lot, uh, big enough, but maybe we can change that. So we do this, turn him around again. Make this guy feel. See, we can make him a cross up there. That's actually not too bad. So as you can see, it's all about finding a way to make things work together. And this is only the brackets. Maybe one day, guys, uh, if you guys want, we can make another video of, uh, of how you do it with other pieces. But for now, we are using the brackets because that is the easiest way to do. And the way we all know it. So. so as you can see here, now we sort of got the trim pieces on the side, which helps so much. So much. So now we go back here and now it's all up to you what kind of pieces you want to add. So like, let's say we want to get all those bracket pieces away so you don't see them. Maybe we can take this guy here underneath the roof, put him like this. Just under the roof like that. And as you can see, because it's the roof is tilting, it's a little bit off angle, then this building will automatically be it too so we do this and we take it on the other side as well here so it kind of looks like it's see perfect like that we can even do it on this on the other side as well and it's okay since it's a cottage and fantasy building we can always you know like there's always a way for things to make sense in a fantasy build. So, as you can see, there's a little bit crooked as well. Then up here, we can do the same. We can take, sort of have this guy like this. So we do like that. And again. So it's literally all up to you, as I've said a million times now. What do you want to add to your roof? How do you want to do it? That's 
that's what it's all about, guys. So what you can do next up here is that you can again add things to trim up the top piece of the roof, which I do constantly. And you can use these fence pieces here. Some of these pieces are super good at this. You can do this. So we have a more like normal build and then we have more of an intricate build here. And I hope really, really that it helps you guys. Let me know down below what I can do better next time of my tutorials. This is a t this is me trying out first time, so I would love the feedback, guys. Okay, so we got this guy now there, right? Maybe we should use this guy. So we do this. And then we can sort of color it the same color as well. See, this is super nice how you can do this with the roof, right? So we detail it. We add this guy on so it kind of like pokes out from here. See this? Yeah. And then we offer this guy up here. We do this. We take him up. Oh, I'm down a bit like that. So now it has this sort of super nice uh, round shape around uh, the ending of the roof here which really really does the job so next thing we could do to add a little bit more trim to the roof as well would be to do this and then to end it all off with obviously we can end up we can take the thing we used at the other side this guy here nah he's too much take this guy Do this and we do this, we color him. It's again, it's all about how you see it, guys. So, see here now. So, we still need to do this with the roof as we did on the other side by changing the color on them so it doesn't look so repetitive with the texture. This is also a very important thing you need to do. So, we'll change this. So more bright color. And then we take him out like that. And we do this. Boom. And we just continue to do the same everywhere. And then you can even like you can even add some shrubbery, even some planks on the top of the roof to make it look even more, you know, cool. See, so you can even add like a few things in the roof here to give it that cottage feeling like the roof is sort of getting fixed i feel like it's nice that we have two different sides here because then you can sort of see uh, how things are going to end up looking of course it would need clutter but that's not the whole that's not the purpose about the this video today today it's about roofs okay so that will be what we will be looking at and building so all right guys <clears throat> so the next building that we are gonna try and build a roof for is Viking. Viking is very uh, like specific when it comes to it. So, um, so let me just try again, build a quick building here, and then uh, we will go straight to the roof afterwards. All right, all right, guys. So when we come to the roof of a Viking build, so I don't know what we should try to do today. I feel like we should still use the brackets and mix it up with some some thatch roof. Because that's sort of how a Viking roof sort of is. So one of the the things you can do like that are very tricky around these roofs are like making it like a pointy bit. So what we're gonna try to do now is that we are gonna try do this where we use the bracket to make a roof sort of a crooked roof in a sense right so what we're doing is that we are gonna try make a roof here with these brackets once again and as you can see the more I add them up here I give them a little 
little raised so they are so it looks like they are actually tiles placed on top of each other right so that's what we're going to do here now as you can see here so it's always difficult to see how the roof is going to look by just like making a few of these things here you kind of have to do like an entire template and actually see how it's going to look on the roof because otherwise it will not work so as you can see here we got we got this guy now so if we do this and then we duplicate him turning him around and duplicate just to see how far we need how much more we need to build here so as you can see we still need to add at least two more here so we had two more like this and what I what I was talking about was that to make the whole, the whole pointy bit of the build, that's how we're gonna do this now. That's how you make a Viking build look more Viking. So we do this. You add these guys up here, so the roof, in a sense, meet and make this triangle shape here, right? So to change some of it, we will have to do. I know this roof is gonna be a lot uh, like a lot of pieces but it is how it is with custom roofs here that's pretty much how it works so if we do this and then to make it look a little bit more different what we can do is that we can take this guy and then we can raise him up just a tiny bit more here just in the back just like this and then what we can do here is we can do the same where we have to put him down and put him down like that and then one more like this It takes time to do custom rules, guys, like really patience. Like if you don't have the patience, then I would suggest you focus your attention and focus on something else. So now we have this, right? So we move this guy as well here. We do the same, constantly do the same. And then what I would like to do now to add that little extra Viking vibe is we slowly take these guys out here and then you take one more and you just keep on doing it until you kind of feel like that it's good so so you can sort of have this pointy roof bit now right should probably change it a little bit more so it becomes like this and remember the roof now doesn't look super pretty because we need a lot of stuff to it still. But this is sort of how you do a Viking roof. So what I would like to do here now with this pointy roof here is that we are gonna try to make it look more uh, nicer, like it's more trimmed so you don't really see all this stuff here. So what we're gonna do now is that we are taking this guy, uh, and we add him here. Then we make this guy crooked or like angle so he kind of fits in here you see so these sort of brackets they kind of disappear so we do this and we do it all the way maybe we can even move it like this here like that then you can see it's kind of going upwards which is not should do so we do this and then we should be able to just move him here. And you can see a sort of, we sort of get trim on the roof here. Boom. And then we can even make it look like more like this. There we go. And this is pretty much how you are going to do all the way around. So there you go, right guys? So now we sort of have a pointy bit of the Viking house here, which is pretty damn cool. So you can even add more stuff to the roof as well up here to make it look even more cooler. So that's what we're going to do. We'll do this. And we do that. So now we sort of have a nice top roof here. And we'll turn it around and add him on the other side as well. Like this. Get ready to see some changes happen here. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to take these, this roof here. 
Uh, there's a very different ways of doing this, but what I like to do is I like to just do this first, like make the shape of the roof and then go back and recolor the tiles, etc. It would have been easier to do before we duplicated it, but sometimes you just need to do something else. So let's uh, let's try and make it a little bit darker here. Like this, right? And then we will do this. See, so we just change these, we just marked and put them around the roof here. See how much it changes the tiles. As we have done the other way around. I know this is like more of a bracket tutorial, uh, but the brackets are literally the pieces to go for if you're gonna do custom roofs in this game. Now we sort of already changed how the roof look on this side. Look at, look, just look how much that changes, right? And of course, there's a lot of stuff to be done. So you gotta do that here too. So a last thing you could do if you wanted to like spice it up that extra tad, right? You could always go into fences and uh, find like maybe this guy, put him on the top. So you get like these sort of roof bits up here, as you can see. So you kind of like get, so it looks like it's more custom made you know so you can do this and then add it on here so it kind of gets this sort of thing here look at that look how much that changes so some extra things you could also add to the roof could also be that you add maybe some trim work to the roof as well there's plenty of ways to do this Plenty of ways to do this. So we got this guy as well, right? So as you can see there, it already, the roofs already changed there as well, right? You can always add more stuff. You can add even a more, uh, a trim piece here to make it look even better. Uh, and then the last pits we can do to call this roof or done for today is that we can always add these guys here in the sides that kind of like holds up the roofing here. Look how much detail that added to the build, right? And then, of course, it's all up to you what kind of other things you would like to add. Like, since it's a thatch roof, you could always try to see if you could etch, etch, thatch, <laughs> etch, thatch uh, underneath. Because I'm not super fan of the thatch in this game. Like, it could be a lot better. Um, but... Sometimes you might be able to add in some of it behind the brackets. I am uh, pretty happy how uh, it looks for now. And then uh, we will eventually add tons of more stuff to all these three builds here. Uh, probably also, maybe we'll detail, maybe when we do the last, the last finishes of the build, um, we can add it. Because right now I'm pretty happy how how we got things to look here so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed my first wikipedia tutorial here on how to do custom roofs um as i said i would like some feedback in the comment section down below of what i can do better for next time or if you guys have any suggestions or whatsoever uh, please don't hesitate to say it down below guys if you want to join the discord and be part of this tutorial and get a more influence into it uh, you should join as well because we are a bunch of great people in there uh, all these uh, builds i'm doing will eventually be blueprints and we will continue to detail them through this series of mine so guys i hope you have a good day and uh, let me know as i said below what you think and uh, yeah keep on coming with suggestions of what you would like to see or learn to build in this game all right, guys, take care and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye.